be reduced in Zimbabwe? And I think the answer is yes, we can reduce. I think there's something we can definitely do and reduce the number of accidents. Some of those accidents are really not necessary. I've been to Zimbabwe and driven on those roads and I can tell you from experience that some of the driving that I've, uh, that I've observed is not something we should be proud of. So yes, they can be reduced, but it's um, the responsibility of both the government and individual drivers okay, to be accountable to not only themselves, but to the people they are carrying, especially public transport, combis, some of those, the, I was in a combi once and the driver was sleeping. I was the only one complaining. The, the, the rest of the passengers were not, didn't seem to be bothered or maybe they felt lucky to be in that combi, I don't know, but they were just not voicing their concern. And I've taught in rural areas in, in Zimbabwe and during that time, the buses were racing on the dusty roads and some people would actually cheer not realizing that if the bus overturn, they will be dead. So there, there is a culture that we we need to look into that culture and see if we can change our perception of what people think could happen uh, in an accident. You know, lives can be lost. And besides, there is no medication in hospitals. If we get injured, what are we going to do? We could easily lose our lives because there is not enough. There is not the medication is just not there. Ambulances will come late, if any, and fire brigades have been known to arrive at a scene without any water at all to put the fire out. And one thing also that I've noticed is that some roadblocks are actually a hazard themselves. So I've noticed the, there was a roadblock which was at a curve. You could hardly see, I think they were hiding, but there was a policeman right in the middle of the road waiting to flag down cars and it was getting dark, you could hardly see him. And so imagine if there was an, another oncoming vehicle, there could be an accident there, either the policeman would be knocked over or a head-on collision. And it is the head-on collisions which are the most dangerous um, because although some of the roads like between Blawaya and, and uh, Plum Tree, maybe Blawaya Gweru have been fixed, the problem is they are not dual carriage, okay? Which means that the, the we, there is no demarcation in the middle to separate the oncoming traffic from traffic which are going in the other direction, and so you get a situation where you are likely to get head-on collisions because people are trying to overtake. The roads are so good that uh, those who are trying to overtake, okay are likely to be involved in, in head-on collisions um, with oncoming vehicles. So that's a problem. Then on the roads which are not so good, on the bad roads you have portals. Now portals and high speed, because that's one thing I've noticed, people flying uh, on these roads. Then if you get into a portal, uh, you're likely to burst your tire or, or lose control of the vehicle. So that's uh, that's another big problem. Um, then we have seat belts. I've been ridiculed many a times for trying to uh, for putting on a seat belt. Uh, there was a time I had an accident, um, and lucky enough, I had belted everyone up and no one got hurt. But I've heard of cases where people have lost their lives just because they were not wearing a seat belt because a seat belt is seen as some uh, kind of Western thing that people who are living in the West will come and try to. But of course, there are people who know the importance of seat belts. So it's just a few, but then it's just that one odd moment uh, that someone could actually lose their lives just because they are not wearing a seat belt, but the seat belt is available. Especially children, please. A lot of people are carrying kids on their lap um, that person is wearing a seat belt, but the child is not, and they're just carrying the child on their lap. So if there was an accident, then uh, that child is likely to be thrown out of the car or thrown all over the car. So we want to avoid that. So definitely we can reduce the number of accidents. We've all lost relatives. 
we've all lost friends to accidents but it's something that we can do we should encourage uh, discourage bus drivers from over speeding combi drivers from over speeding uh, encourage each other to put on seat belts um, make sure that we have good uh, roadworthy vehicles with good tires i've seen some people exporting uh, use tires from 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 the west uh, to africa and those tires are already worn out and they are no longer roadworthy in 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 the west but they are being taken to africa and they're just going to be fitted onto cars as they are and we know the temperatures in africa are higher so they are likely to to burst those tires are likely to burst so some of those accidents is just that our governments are not strict enough yeah, they're just allowing because of shortages of tires they are allowing these tires which are worn out into the countries which is uh, not such a good thing so yes we can reduce uh, traffic accidents road traffic accidents we can reduce the number of people um, dying from unnecessary road accidents you've seen images even videos of people taking pictures of accidents which are happening and passing them around on whatsapp um, I think we could see less of those images if we just if we were just a little bit more careful uh, with road traffic accidents and um, yeah so thank you for listening and I'll see you in the next video.